What's that noise? Look, there's Danny. Let's land the aeroplane. That might be tricky. Yes, the mountain just goes up and up to a point. Goodness knows why they can't make mountains a bit flatter. Oh, well, I'll do my best. <laughs> well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, Captain Dog. My goodness, did you really climb all the way up here? Yes, we were hoping to be the first to reach the top. Oh, dear. Looks like we got here first. Hope we didn't spoil your game. Uh, no. Of course not. At least you can have the fun of climbing all the way down again. Let's sing a song about climbing mountains. Uh, there's really no need. Climbing up a mountain so very, very high. Climb, climb, climbing until we reach the sky. Climbing up a mountain so very, very high. Oh, oh. Well, we can't stand up. To see my friends. Bye. 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 My turn to fly. <laughs> We're going backwards. Uh, maybe we should go the other way. Okay. Daddy, Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you while I, uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practicing too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practising their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Ah. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> it's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Pepper? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes. <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess from this book. Yes. I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, 
Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peppa. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three one two. Most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <coughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. <coughs> my favourite book keeps changing. <laughs> Don't worry, Pepper. You can decide in the morning. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. <laughs> You'll go, Pepper. <laughs> Good shot, Pepper. Oh dear, the ball has landed in the tree. Oh, it's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. Peppa and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. And how may we help you today? I'm sore. George has lost Mr Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. Uh, actually, we were hoping some kind person might have found George's toy dinosaur and brought it here. I see. We'll need to question George. It's just routine. Please describe your dinosaur in your own words. Take your time. Use as many words as you like. Dinosaur. Dine saw. Excellent description. Hmm, we do have some lost dinosaurs in the back. Follow me. Wow, what a lot of stuff. Yes, it's amazing the things people lose. Umbrellas. Handbags. Pirate treasure. Wow. wow. Yes, pirates are always forgetting where they buried their treasure. People dig the treasure up, and when they can't find the pirate who legally owns it... They bring the treasure here. Funny thing is, not one single pirate has ever walked into our police station to claim their treasure. 
This cement mixer was found in a train. The passenger must have forgotten it. Ooh. And this banana was found in a shoe shop. How in the world it got there, we'll never know. <laughs> I'm sorry, young lad. What were we looking for again? I'm sore. Oh, yes. Here we are, a box full of plastic dinosaurs. Is this your Stegosaurus? No. How about this Triceratops? No. This Brontosaurus? No. Hmm, I'm afraid that's all the toy dinosaurs we've got. Oh. Don't worry, George. I'm sure you'll find your dinosaur. All you've got to do is keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh. This is the Queen's Palace. Hello? Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops! What a big house! Lots of room for a queen to kick a ball about. Where is the queen? Queen! Queen! Where are you? Hello. Have you seen the Queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the Queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now for the party. To the garden. You've got a lovely big garden, Your Majesty. Do you play in it all the time? I don't have much time for playing, no. That's sad. Oh, dear. A muddy puddle. Never mind. We can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle. No. No. You have to jump in it. <laughs> oh, I see. That does look fun. Here one goes, then. Stop! <gasps> if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. Oh, dear. The Queen is not wearing her boots. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish goldie? Ho, ho, ho! Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No. They are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. 
George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur -y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow! That's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! <laughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! Bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. This is the airport. Goodbye! <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. Tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. The island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boots. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please. Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Come in, birds, one, two and three. Your time is up. One, two and three. That's us. Let's see who can get back first. We'll have a race. Yes! Pedal faster, Daddy. I'm not sure I can pedal much faster. Oh, Daddy Pig, I'll do the pedalling. Quick on, Mummy! This is quite hard work, isn't it? Aha! We'll be carried back by the wind, Danny. Oh. What is it? The wind has stopped. Without any wind, the sailing boat cannot go. We'll just have to wait for the wind to pick up again. How long will that take? I don't know. It could be weeks. Can't we use the engine? 
Oh, you don't have engines on sailing boats, Danny. Oh. The sailing boat does have an engine. Full sail! <laughs> Emily and her family are in the lead. Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh. We're going to win the race! <laughs> Here come Danny and Captain Dog. Hooray! We win! <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. Next time we'll take a sailing boat. Yes. Sailing boats have engines on them. Daddy? See you later, Danny. I've decided to sail around the world again. But you said you were going to stay home. Oh, yes. I'm not a sailor anymore. But I do love boating on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a smoothie with apples? OK, but smoothies can have lots of different fruit in them. OK, apples, raspberries, bananas and more apples. An apple, raspberry, banana and more apples smoothie. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Can I... Have a smoothie, please. Me too. And me. And me. Of course. What fruit would you like in your smoothies? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything, Pedro. OK. Cheese, please. <laughs> Pedro, cheese isn't a fruit. It has to be fruit or vegetables. OK. Raspberries and blueberries and blackberries and gooseberries. That's more like it. Raspberry and blueberry and blackberry and gooseberry smoothies for everyone. <laughs> Lovely. What do you want in your smoothie, George? Strawberry. George, a smoothie must have lots of fruit in it. How about strawberries and pineapple, George? No. Maybe George would like some dinosaur juice. Dinosaur juice? Oh, yes. All dinosaurs like dinosaur juice. <laughs> dinosaur. Let's see. A bit of this, one of those, a few of these, oh, some of that. One dinosaur juice, just for dinosaurs and their little friends. <laughs> dinosaur. Can I have some dinosaur juice, please, Miss Rabbit? Me too. And me. And me. OK. Dinosaur juice for everyone. Oh, bother. What's wrong, Miss Rabbit? I've forgotten what I put in the dinosaur juice. Oh. I can tell you what was in it. Really? How? By smelling it. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Who do you think that is? It's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is Peppa's cousin. No, that's you as a baby Pepper. Baby Pepper. <laughs> Somebody sounds like they're having fun. Look, Daddy, that's a picture of me as a baby. I remember it well. It was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? When you were little, we moved into this house. We brought all our things on top of our car. Mummy Pig put some pictures up. Daddy Pig put up a shelf. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Where's Grandpa's lovely flower garden now? Daddy Pig looked after it. Uh, we had the wrong kind of soil for flowers. Oh. And anyway, you needed somewhere to play. You and Susie loved to play in the garden. <laughs> Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Yes, you and Susie have always been best friends. <laughs> <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh. What did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. 
<laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Goo goo ga ga goo goo ga ga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> and where was George? He was a baby in my tummy. <laughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. Welcome to Tiny Land, where everything is really tiny and educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower, just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, look at that! This is the land of water. Oh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. <laughs> what was that? Dinosaur. This is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Wow. Here is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Ooh. And over there is a Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. <coughs> oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no. The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <laughs> it's OK. I've caught it. <laughs> oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. <laughs> Rescue service. Mr. Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the Queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye. Goodbye. Now, how can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon. Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Potato. Thank you. Hooray! I'm sure. Okay, George. 
George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. <laughs> Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! Mm. The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified Digger Drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your Digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! <laughs> it is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road! Digger! Digger! Mr Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's OK then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> OK, now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. <laughs> What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Peppa. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Deepsea diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? <laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. <laughs> you have to huff. Huff. And you have to puff. Puff. And blow. <laughs> so many bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the sky. not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon. Ah, and you know what you do when you see a full moon? Um... You howl. Ow! Why do you do that? That's what wolves do. We howl at the moon. 
Wendy, can you teach us how to do that? OK. First, you have to look up at the moon. And then you howl. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Wendy Wolf has taught everyone how to howl like a wolf. Ow! 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 Wow! Who did that one? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't any of us. Ow! It's a wild animal! Ah! Ow! It is Granny Wolf. Happy birthday, Wendy. Hello, Granny. You must all be Wendy's friends. How do you do? Hello, Hello Granny, Granny Wolf. Wolf. My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf. <laughs> all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf. All the better to see you with. And what big teeth you've got. All the better to eat birthday cake. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Wendy, what's that in the middle of your cake? It is a little house made of sticks. Ah! Time to blow out the candles, Wendy. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <gasps> You've blown the stick house down. Oh, well done. That's my go. Oh, don't your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it. George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh. But your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa. I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I can reach it. I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky! I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny! I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it! Yeah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. Happy <laughs> birthday, Captain Dog! Thank you, everyone. Daddy, you look sad. Oh, it's nothing, son. Just seeing this here boat reminded me how much I miss the sea. Captain Dog loves the sea. Why not open your birthday present? It's a boat trip. A boat trip? That's just what I wanted. Let's go! <laughs> There's nothing better than sailing a boat. You could go anywhere you want in a sailing boat. We could head for the tropics or have an Arctic adventure. We might even see a whale. <laughs> it's just a day trip, dear. 
This is the canal. Now, where's the sailing boat? We're going on this canal boat. I see. We use the canal boat to get to the sailing boat. No, dear. We're going on this boat for your birthday and we're sailing it down the canal. But on a canal, you can only go this way and that way. It'll be fun. Come on, Dad. It is a boat. Yes, Danny, you're right. A boat on the water. All aboard. Oh, I wanted to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on, then. All aboard! Raise the sail! Oh, where is the sail? Canal boats do not have sails. You just push this button to make the boat go. Ah, thank you, Mummy Dog. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck is going faster than our boat. Want a race, do you, Mrs. Duck? <laughs> Full steam ahead! <laughs> uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, this is the top speed. Uh George has found a ball. <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first! It nearly smashed my greenhouse! Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Uh. <laughs> Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> Bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you okay, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, 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 bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. 
Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha <laughs> ha! Right you are. <coughs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! Please, can we have some glitter? Please! Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK, I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah, glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm here to pick up Pepper and George, but I can't see them anywhere. I'm a pretty butterfly. <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Butterfly. I'm looking for two little piggies. Do you know where I can find them? <laughs> I tricked you! It's me! <gasps> Peppa! What a surprise! But where is George? Girl. Ah! <laughs> George, it's you! <laughs> I thought you were a dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I can't find Rebecca and Richard! Would you mind if I took these two carrots home instead? <laughs> Silly, Mummy! It's us! Oh, <laughs> Rebecca, Richard. <laughs> Come on, Pedro. Time to go home. I am not Pedro. I am Super Pony. Oh, does Super Pony want to come home? Or does Super Pony want to stay here for the night? Come home with you, please, Mummy. <laughs> Haven't we all had fun making wonderful masks? Who are you? It is I, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves masks. Everyone loves masks. Our house is not finished yet. My daddy is still building it. Ah! Here is Mr Mole. He is very good at digging. How do you lock your new bedroom, Molly? It's lovely and cosy. <laughs> this is my new friend, Peppa. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Daddy Pig has come to pick up Peppa. Hello? Hello? Hello, Daddy Pig. How can I help you? Do you know where Molly Mole's family live? Yes, they have moved in underneath us. Underneath you? Yes, it's quite exciting. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. Come inside. Oh, oh. Please excuse the mess. We're building an extension. Oh, I'm a bit of an expert on extensions. Let me know if you need any advice. That's very kind of you. Yes, it takes a lot of skilled people to build a house. Plumbers, electricians, architects. Actually, Mr Mole and I are just building it ourselves. Oh. Hello, Mr Pig. Hello, Mr Mole. Uh, interesting place you've got here. Thanks. There's a little bit more digging to do, but... How are you holding the ceiling up? Is it a steel or a concrete lintel? Lintel? What's a lintel? Well... The good thing about digging a house is that you do what you want, where you want. You can put a door here... Or a door here. Or you could even put one here. 
Uh, hello, Mr Rabbit. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr Mole. <laughs> oh, I hope it's OK. I've just made a doorway in your floor. A doorway in the floor? What a good idea. Would you like a cup of tea? Who are you talking to, Mr Mole? I was talking to Mr Rabbit. Hello, Mrs Mole. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. This is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play! This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! The little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in! Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in! Too. Help! Hello! Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! Uh, I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are! Uh, where are your parents? Help! Help! We're, We're stuck! Ho, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. It's a lovely sunny day and the market has come to town. Apples, apples, get your apples here. Cheese, a smelly cheese. Fish, nice fresh fish. Each market stall sells one thing. Apples, cheese. Fish. Mr. Fox's stall sells everything. Violins, casters, rocket engines. <laughs> Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples. Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Mmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. Thank you. <laughs> cheese, cheese. Yum, yum. George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow. That's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? OK, I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie? Yummy! There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower yeah. tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! <laughs> the 
ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig? They might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah, cochon de la roue! Hello there! Hello! <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour. Bonjour, Delphine. Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs! Get your little Eiffel Towers here! The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no! That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. George has found an enormous bone. Ah, dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa. How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure. How exciting. I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Hmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of the lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. It is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr. Wolf. Hello, Mr. Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. 
This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well, catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello. <laughs> Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear, George. <clears throat> Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off too. George, away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. Whee! Oh! This is brilliant! <laughs> Everybody off! <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it, Daddy? Uh, yes, lots of fun. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dinosaur garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the Earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> anyway, who wants to ride one? Me! Me! Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! <laughs> Here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. Uh... Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or stakes? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Peppa. We won't. <laughs> Can I help? 
<laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <gasps> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? <laughs> yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr Bull. Bye-bye. Bye. George put the sticky mud down and I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house. It's finished! Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. <laughs> Boys against girls. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. <laughs> Emily's using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <coughs> it's not fair. We want Emily on our team. No, she's in our team. Stop arguing. You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. Hello. <coughs> The parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All right! I'm quite good at cricket. Yes. Well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop, but you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready, steady, go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. Thanks to Daddy Coach. <laughs> it's got wheels. Car. <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? <laughs> There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Twinkle Toes. Horsey. Remember, children, Aunt Dottie sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. Horsey! <laughs> Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with Horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not Horsey. Now it's Peppa's turn. I am Princess Peppa with my magic horse, Twinkle Toes. Peppa likes playing with Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Perhaps you should play with the toy horse outside. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit steep here. Maybe you should play at the bottom of the hill. And the quickest way down the hill is to ride down. 
Are you sure, Daddy? Don't crash like you always do. Ho, ho! I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I'm a grown-up. Yeah! How are you going to stop, Daddy? Uh, I don't know. Ah. Where are the brakes? <laughs> Clever, Daddy. You use the duck pond to stop. What was that big splash? What big splash? Daddy Pig, did you know you've got a duck on your head? Oh, uh, yes. Well, I did fall in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> Granny and Grandpa like antiques. What does antique mean? Antique means old and rare. Usually, yes. But my antiques are brand new. That chair comes in a set of 12. Nice, isn't it? Is it made of oak? Yes, it's made of plastic oak. Is it comfortable? You mustn't sit on it. Antique chairs are not for sitting on. So, what do you do with them? You look at them. That's not much fun, even for a grown-up. Buying a present for Granny and Grandpa is hard work. I don't understand. My shop sells everything. There must be something you like. There is. I like this teddy. And I think Granny and Grandpa would like it too. Oh, oh, let's buy the teddy then. A very good choice. Who's going to pay? One penny and two buttons. Here's your change. One button. Thank you, Mr Fox. Pepper and her family have come to give Granny and Grandpa Pig their presents. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Happy anniversary. Oh, another glass vase. It's a grown-up present. That's why it's a bit boring. It's lovely. We'll put it with our other glass vases. George and me bought you a present too. I hope you like it. A teddy bear for Grandpa and me. Thank you, Pepper and George. He's very good at cuddling. Does he have a name? Um, he's called Eddie the Teddy. And what does Eddie like to eat? Chocolate and broccoli. <laughs> That's the best present we've ever had. Oh, but if Eddie is going to live here, he'll need children to play with. We can play with him, Granny. <laughs> and every time you visit us, he'll be here for you to play with. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Tiddles. Tiddles is climbing higher in the tree. Come here, you little pickles. Mummy Cow is climbing into the tree. Be careful, Mummy Cow. Oh, dear. I'm stuck. Cows are not very good at climbing trees. Hang on. I'm coming up. Here, Tiddles. Oh, I'm stuck too. Elephants are not very good at climbing trees. Well, didn't work, did it? What are we going to do now? Chop the tree down! No! no! I'll call the next rescue service. Hello! Grandad Dog's breakdown service. Hello? Tiddles the tortoise is up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes, let's chop the tree down. No! OK, I'll climb up instead. Hooray! <laughs> oh, I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. OK, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops. 
silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow, like this. Oh! I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <gasps> Whose shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever. It must be a giant. <laughs> It's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. The shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Peppa. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Pepper has made a spider. My name is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. George. Dinosaur. Brrr. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. All the countries are playing in the playground. <laughs> the United Kingdom is on the slide. Whee! France and Switzerland are on the swings. <laughs> Germany is playing hopscotch. One. Two, three... America, Russia, Spain and Greece <laughs> are in the sandpit. <laughs> I'm building a big sandcastle. <laughs> Yeehaw! Here are Holland and Japan. Ahem. Now it's our turn in the sandpit. Why? Because you've had your turn. You can play on the slide now. But we want to play here. <laughs> oh, dear. There is not enough room in the sandpit for more than four countries. <laughs> What's going on? It's our turn in the sandpit. But we were here first. Is Susie being a bit bossy? George started it. Leave George alone. He's only little. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. What's all this noise about, then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sandpit. No, we're not. Yes, you are. George started it. That's not right. Right. Oh, dear. The countries of the world are not playing nicely together. Peace and harmony in all the What's that noise? Oh, no. The countries are fighting. You can't play in the sandpit. Yes, we can. It's not no, fair. Stop arguing. <laughs> Susie, you're always telling people what to do. No, I am not. Children, children. What is happening? <laughs> America, Russia, Spain and Greece won't share the sand pit. <laughs> Holland is being bossy. You're the bossy one. That is enough. Is this how you think the countries of the world behave? Um, don't they? Of course not. Sorry, Madame Gazelle. 
If I take this rubber duck and hide it where you can see it, do you think you could find it? Daddy, if we can see it, you haven't hidden it. Watch this. I will put the duck here. Now, you tell me where it is. There. Exactly. It's too easy, Daddy. It won't always be so easy, Peppa. Who wants to go first? Because it's an easy game, George can go first. OK, you all wait here. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> but it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. Just look with your eyes. George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. You're getting warmer. Colder. Warm again. George has found the rubber duck. <laughs> Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. <laughs> OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh! The rubber duck is not in the sink. I know. You're hiding under the table. The rubber duck is not under the table. Give me a clue, please. It's sitting with something else that's yellow. Something yellow that lives in the kitchen. Bananas! There you are! <coughs> Mummy Rabbit, is there really a baby rabbit in your tummy? Yes. Would you like to listen to it? Yes, please. Can you hear a little heartbeat? Yes, I can. It's going boom, boom, boom. Oh, it just moved. Yes, sometimes babies give a little kick. Nay, what will you call it? I don't know. Would you children like to think of a name? Yes, please. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. <coughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? I can't have coffee, but I am quite hungry. Would you like a carrot? I'm a bit off carrots. Have you got any potatoes? Yes, we do. Maybe a potato with jelly and cheese and strawberry jam, please. Yeah. <laughs> a potato with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam? What a funny mixture of food. We need to think of a name for the baby. Yes. If the baby is a girl, she'll be called Rachel Rabbit. Or how about... Ruth Rabbit. Roxanne Rabbit. Sharon Rabbit. I don't think so, Pedro. Sharon Rabbit sounds wrong. I like Rosie. Rosie Rabbit. <coughs> it's perfect. But what if the baby is a boy? Oh. How about Rufus Rabbit? Raymond Rabbit. Michael Rabbit. Michael Rabbit? No! Robbie Rabbit. Yes, Robbie Rabbit. Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. <coughs> My pleasure. We thought of a name for the baby. Rosie if it's a girl and Robbie if it's a boy. They're lovely names. It's sad that the baby can't have both names. Oh, my tummy! It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming. Right, to the hospital. Quickly now, don't panic. Bye! What do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up and it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans With a bing and a bong and a boo Baked beans bang, baked beans boo Baked beans bingly bongly bang Baked beans bang, baked beans boo Baked beans bingly bongly bang <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a story in the tent 
again. I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> It was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. Was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! Ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <sighs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh. Wild animals! <laughs> Yes, it's my daddy. This is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh, shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Oh, oh. OK, Pepper. All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. It is morning. George, let's look at our flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, baby plants. Morning. Ah, your plants have started to grow. Soon they'll have flowers on them. A little snail has come to take a look. Oh, dear. Snails like eating plants. Grandpa Pig. Can you take Barbara to your garden? Um, OK. I'll take care of Barbara. It is one week later. Peppa! George! Come and look! My flowers! They're so pretty! And look at George's plant. It's a beanstalk. And it goes all the way up to a giant's Castle. Oh, oh, no, Pepper. But it does go quite high. George's flower is taller than our house. Oh, ho, ho. George has grown a sunflower. Well done, George. <laughs> I love our flower garden. Now let's make you a vegetable garden. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs. Daddy Pig. Like tomatoes, carrots and potatoes. I do like a nice potato. Daddy Pig loves potatoes. <laughs> Everyone loves potatoes. <laughs> are we going in an ambulance? No, the mountains are too far away. We'll go in my aeroplane. Ooh! Airplane! No! George loves aeroplanes. All aboard! <laughs> up, up and away! I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr Hamster. Oh, yes. I'm the flying vet. Thank goodness. The vet's here. Where is the sick lizard? Here it is. Oh, poor little pickle. What is wrong with the lizard? It seems to be upside down. I just flip it over. There. Dr Hamster has made the lizard better. Hooray! Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello. A uh, Grandpa Pig here. Grandpa Pig is out sailing his boat. It's Polly. She's a sick parrot. Ah, uh -huh. 
sick parrot. I'll be right there. Look, Polly, it's the flying death. Where are we going to land? This is a seaplane, Pepper. We can land on the water. Wow! Hello, <laughs> Pepper. George. Hello, Grandpa. We've come to make Polly better. How long has Polly been sick? Since we came out on our boat trip. Aha! Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh! Get Polly to dry land. The sooner the better. There's an island. There we go. Better Polly. Ah, uh, better Polly. Hooray! <laughs> Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. <laughs> Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Nice. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend, Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. <laughs> Wow! Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. I could jump higher, but I'm a little bit tired. Ugh! What was that? It is raining. Like I said, if you want it to rain, start a barbecue. I'm afraid we'll all have to go indoors. What? And miss the rain? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Kangaroo has got a big umbrella to shelter everyone from the rain. Food's ready. Who's hungry? Me! Me! Mmm, yummy! Pepper likes corn on the cob. <laughs> everyone likes corn on the cob. It stopped raining. The rain makes everything so fresh and green. And wet. And muddy! <laughs> <laughs> this is how you jump in muddy puddles. Wow, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm the best at jumping, but Peppa's the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Brought back presents for all of you. Ooh, presents! Here is a drum for Danny from a far away jungle. Thank you, Daddy. Very good, Danny. I can bang it louder. Perhaps that's enough banging for now. And for all your friends, some seashells from a desert island. Ooh. If you hold them to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yes, I can hear the seaside. And for my darling mummy dog, a chest of gold and jewels. Oh, how lovely. That will come in handy. Ah, it's great to be home. <laughs> it is morning. Captain Dog is up early. Daddy? What are you doing? I'm checking the wind, Danny. Why? Sailors always check the wind before they sail. But you're not a sailor anymore. Oh, yes. I did say that, didn't I? Do you miss the sea, Daddy? No, no, I don't miss the sea. But I do miss my boat. I've got a boat that Grandad Dog made for me. Aha! That's an exact copy of my boat. You could help me sail it. That sounds like fun! Pepper and her friends are at the duck pond. Ahoy there, shipmates! Room for another boat on the briny waters? Yes. Excellent. Danny, our boat needs a captain. It can't sail itself. Daddy, will you be my boat's captain? I'd be delighted, Danny. 
if you'll be my first mate. Yes, please. Launch the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. Wind is southwesterly. The waters are calm. My last adventure was sailing a boat around the world. My next adventure is sailing a boat across a duck pond. <laughs> Captain Dog likes sailing across duck ponds. Everyone likes sailing across duck ponds. <laughs> Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! Ah! <laughs> that is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes. A big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Grrr. Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. 
How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. It is Mr Paul and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr. Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! <laughs> Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh, where's the beauty spot going? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now! Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. Sure, we'll find you a lovely new dinosaur here, George. I'm sure. George does not want a new dinosaur. Look, George, a big dinosaur. <gasps> dinosaur. <laughs> Good morning. Can I help you? We'd like the dinosaur in the window, please. Certainly. Good choice. This is the dino roar. It roars, it walks, and it sings a dinosaur song. Dino roar, dino roar, listen to the dino roar. Roar! Wow! wow. Dino roar! <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> roar! <laughs> George is playing with dino roar in the garden. Don't play too roughly with Dino Roar, George. He has moving parts and might get broken. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. George cannot play with Dino Roar in the bath. It is night time. George has taken Dino Roar to bed with him. Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else. George cannot have Dino Roar in his bed at night. It is morning. Why is George looking so sad? George cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, in the bath, or in bed. Never mind, George. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to the Dino Roar. Mm. Oh. I think the batteries must have run out, Daddy Pig. Already? How many batteries are in here? Hundreds and thousands! You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down, like Gertrude. <laughs> That's a good idea. Out you get. What? I'm borrowing your train. I'll change! What am I going to do? 
you can stay here and mend the big train. Righto. I do like mending things. Oh, what fun! Riding a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Of course. All aboard the toy train. <laughs> Can't it go any faster? No. Gertrude is a slow train. Mrs Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. What's happened to the big train? Has it shrunk? No, this is a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs. Oh, dear! A traffic jam! Gertrude can ride on the grass. Of course! Bye, everyone! Miss Rabbit is taking a shortcut. Past the duck pond. Hello, ducks! <laughs> up the hill. Come on, Gertrude! You can make it! And to the next station. Oh! <laughs> Where's the big train? The big train is broken. We're riding Grandpa Pig's toy train today. Gertrude is not a toy train. She, she is, is a, a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the end of the line. This goes here and that goes there. Grandpa Pig has mended the big train. Good as new. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are getting Goldie the fish ready. Eat up, Goldie. You've got a big day tomorrow. I will polish your bowl. <gasps> <laughs> Lovely. Pedro is talking to his stick insect. A stick insect is an insect that looks like a stick. Tomorrow, you will come with me to playgroup. They will decide who is the best pet. And it will be you. Edmund Elephant is talking to his gecko. Watch me. <coughs> now you do it. <coughs> Zoe Zebra is talking to her monkey. Are you excited about the competition, monkey? Woof, woof, woof. Remember to be good tomorrow. Don't be a cheeky monkey. <laughs> it is the day of the pet competition. <coughs> Madam Gazelle? Who is going to decide which pet is the best? Dr Hamster. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, what lovely pets you've got. That's a happy little fish. What's its name? It's Goldie. You've met her before. She's got a very shiny bowl. <laughs> what does Goldie like doing? She likes swimming around and going like this. Wonderful. And who is this? This is my stick insect. What's his name? Stephen. What does he do? He looks like a stick. Amazing. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh, who's next? Ooh, 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 monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes, he's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too. Tiddles the tortoise. He <laughs> Marching along, beating your drums. <laughs> That's it! Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, yes my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. <laughs> This music is about space. 
<laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Oh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I liked the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And, and me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> this way! Follow me, everyone! <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Swish, splash, splash, swish, splash. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <laughs> it's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> The bridge is lifting up! Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone! <laughs> Us is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK! <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, oh, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Next stop, Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a seat. Splash, Your Majesty! It does look rather fun, and one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Pepper. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. 
Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now... Hard. Wow! All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up a playground. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. <laughs> Oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, uh, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> right, are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> that is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh! We thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. What I've got! Great! That's your castle almost done. Hooray! Hooray. It's not almost done. We have to stick things on, paint it, add the glitter. Glitter? Hello? Hello. Can I speak to Pepper, please? Pepper, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. More pointy, Mummy, and it needs to be taller. How is your castle going? It's quite hard work, but my Mummy and Daddy are helping a little tiny bit. Uh, what do you think of this tower, Pepper? Very good, but it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm, maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Pepper. What do you think, Peppa? Wow, that looks just like a castle. Oh, we got there in the end. Hmm, it just needs one more thing. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have brought their castles back to playgroup. Wow, a fairy palace. That must have been a bit tricky for you to make, Susie. No, it was easy. <laughs> My castle is made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. 
Pedro, did you not make a castle? I did, but it's too big to bring into school. Uh, we built it out of stone blocks. Isn't it wonderful what the children can make using just their imaginations? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Peppa loves school projects. <laughs> Everyone loves school projects. <laughs>